Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Interstage Window, my Saturday stream. And today we're gonna be playing some more of our classic WoW Hardcore Warlock run. We're still level 24. Also, as you might see, I'm coming to you in beautiful mirrorless today. We got a camera upgrade. Also, I, I changed a bunch of the sound settings because of also the microphone upgrade that we got recently. You can see, we got a new microphone as well. So, um, Please let me know if anything sounds strange. It does look like I'm a little quiet. I'm gonna turn up the gain just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. That looks like, that looks like a little bit more normal. Okay, let's launch the game. Let's launch the game. Let's get into WoW. Oh my gosh. Blizzard, why? Gotta tank my frame rate slightly. Okay, looks like the game's a bit loud, but Oh, no, not too bad. Okay. There we go. Oh, camera, you scooch this way a little bit. Is that better? I'm still to the left. There we go. Real-time adjustments. Real-time adjustments, guys. Let's go. Okay, we're going to try again to do that weaver quest. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it by myself. Oh, also, why am I looking this way? Okay, hang on. Lunar! Lunar with the first! Hello! How are you doing today? Um, what, where is it? Where is it? Okay, flip horizontal. Oh no! Now I'm gone! Hang on. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so silly. Okay, there we go. I'm back! <laughs> I'm back, and I feel like I'm looking the right direction now. Hello, Lunar! How are you doing today? How are you doing? Okay, wait, where's my quest? There it is, okay. Silver pine. Let's LFG for some weaver. I don't have a target. If we can't find a group for this pretty quickly, then we will just head over to Hillsbrad and continue there and go to Durnhold Keep. Still tired from yesterday. The movie was great though. Oh, I'm so glad, I'm so glad. This was the eras the eras tour movie right that you saw the taylor swift one how do i look by the way new camera we're in, we're in mirrorless now no more webcam no more webcam the the good webcam has been upgraded to the the baby cam so they will be less blurry as well um i think do i have a baby here oh ash is here ash has been coming in here a lot more lately yeah how was it tell me everything oh i'll join okay Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we are gonna do the weaver. Maybe we are gonna do the weaver. Okay, let's go. This is, oh, a, shra a 19 shaman. Okay, they're a little low. They're a little low, but that's not too bad. Okay, let's make sure, let's get Voidwalker out. Welcome. Okay, we're gonna do a looking for more now. See if anybody else wants to join. This is lucky. Lucky, we're getting getting the group really quickly. Turn the game sound down just a little bit more. I feel like it was kind of loud. Like when I get into combat, it's gonna be way too loud. Which one do you want to start with? Huh? Just the weaver. They, they must be talking about the elite amber mill quest, but I already did those. Baron's Peril as well. I oh that must I think that's the Amber Mill one. Oh no, Pyrewood Village. I meant to say Village Lol. Hopefully level 19's not too low. 
It's a level 22 quest. So I kind of like, I'm nervous taking them with me. <laughs> like I'm responsible for them. And I'm just a warlock, I cannot be responsible. The weaver, yes, it is. I'd really like to have one more with us. Would be good. We got this year level 24. Yeah, but I'm a warlock. <laughs> There's only so much I can do. <laughs> uh, thank you for the faith in me, lol. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I have faith in me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Faith I do not have. Okay. Let's get these guys. I don't have a target. Okay, they went down fast. It was great, met lots of cool people, sang all the songs. I also traded friendship bracelets with the new Cam. Looks amazing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, oh, you like the, the friendship bracelets come out good. I know you were working hard on those. And with my best friend, she brought her three-year-old. Oh, cute. On the way home, she asked if we liked the movie. And she asked what the favorite part was. And she said Taylor Swift. Her favorite part was all, the whole part, everything, the whole movie. That's so cute. I love that. I'm so glad you guys had fun. It's been forever since like a big concert movie released, you know? Like that's just not a thing that happens so much anymore. So it's pretty amazing. That spell is yeah. Oh, stuck on fucking terrain. Yeah, that guy's coming. Why are you jumping down? Oh my god. At least shamans have heals. Yeah, they're all fucking coming for you. Because you're level fucking 19. And now I'm gonna die too. Yay! Drink my potion, attack my void walker. And let's run. Well, this might be the end of our hardcore run, you guys. This might be the end. Come on. Come on, get the fuck out. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, new friend. I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay. Maybe we skip the Weaver quest. No one seems to want to do it. And we just got this person killed. <laughs> Ugh. The bracelets came out cute. It was really fun. Next movie is FNAF, and I'll be seeing that October 28th. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's get the Voidwalker back. All good. Oh, at least they're being nice about it. Yeah, those guys at the entrance, they just all swarm if you're lower level. What do you want Let's see who's this me? hunter right here. 18. Yeah, like no one. I just don't think we're gonna find anyone to do the weaver quest. Try one more time. As we walk back up to the sepulchre. Well, that was almost the end. That was almost the end of our hardcore run, but it wasn't. It was for the other person. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for new friend. I feel bad. They said they have faith in me. They shouldn't have. Warlocks, warlocks do not deserve your faith. <laughs> All right. Maybe we're just going to have to drop the weaver. I don't know. I don't want to drop it. I don't like to drop quests, but I might have to. Because I'm not going in that house by myself. Definitely die.
And we shouldn't have jumped. They shouldn't have jumped into the other mobs. Like, I think that would have helped too, because then my Voidwalker could have taken the other ones, but I didn't get time to, I feel like. I don't know, maybe I could have reacted faster too. At least I've got sack. At least I've got sack for my void walker, so I was able to live. Oh gosh. I'm already like, whoo, from that almost death. Yeah, really happy with the camera upgrade. Um, Money Fairy visited, so I was able to get that. Uh, lenses are expensive though. I'm using like the kit lens, which is why it feels like it's like really close. I really, I would like to get a wide angle lens at some point, so my, um, shot can be more similar to how I had it with the webcam but um but that's just very expensive the camera itself is already expensive and then like the lenses why are lenses so expensive oh my god it's just like a piece part of the camera and they're like the same price as cameras sometimes like not that much cheaper it's like insane I don't get it someone who knows how these things work explain it to me because I don't I need a health stone too yes okay Luna, are you um are you awake enough to stream today or are you too tired? Or are you streaming today? Okay, we try one more time. I just walk past the, I walk past the flight path. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we're done with it. We're done with it. I just, the weaver's not going to happen. I Maybe next it. stream. We'll see how much we level up if we super out level it. All right. Let's go to Hillsbrad. Victory let's go to Hillsbrad and kill some humans. Let's kill some humans. I'll be streaming today. More DDLC. Nice. Nice. You got really far in the first stream, like really far in the game, but you've beaten it before, right? So you know everything that happens. And I know you see me play it, but I don't remember what parts you saw. It's Dalaran. So mysterious. They're trying to rebuild it. Alright, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go kill some syndicates. The syndicates are very interesting and classic. So they have the orange, they're the, they're the humans that have the orange, um, face masks, right? And they are considered an unfinished faction, which is so funny. Like, so you can actually, cause they, they're rival with this rogue faction, the Ravenholt, so you can actually, like, gain, um... Uh, reputation with them. Very interesting. But I think you cannot get it all the way up to Exalted. There's a lot of factions like that in Classic where like they, they're here, but they either get cut later or they just remain unfinished. There's a lot of unfinished stuff in Classic. And uh, the Syndicates is, is one of them. All right, we're gonna cross over here. We're gonna go do, we're gonna go do the syndicates and hopefully not die. We are getting into the mid twenties, which for my solo characters was the spot I always died. So like, I'm very nervous. <laughs> I'm very nervous that we're gonna be done with, done with this challenge soon and I'm not gonna make it. What's up, Kate? I love the troll's pink hair. Oh, you're 37. Jesus. Jelly. I want to be level 30 now. That would be cool. Get it, Karen! <laughs> Thank you, Lunar. Thank you. 
Did that sound double, by the way, or did it just sound singular for you? Because I had to mess with some settings, and I just want to make sure that my alerts are not doubled. Just singular? Perfect, perfect, okay. Fabulous! I am so glad. I had the audio like all singled out, like just pulling the game audio and things like that, but I just kept running into the issue with Windows crackling the sound and there's no fix for it, it's a Windows problem. So I changed everything to be just desktop sound instead. Um, <laughs> so I was like really nervous that the alerts and things were going to double, but I think I said it all correctly with like monitoring on versus off to make sure that wouldn't happen. So it sounds like I did, or at least I did it right for the, for the sound alerts. All right, it's time to fuck up some humans. We're going to go into their house and, um, we're going to destroy them, which is what they deserve. You know, for being humans. How dare they? Oh, someone's already here. Okay. Good, maybe I'll find a friend. There they are. Let's give them a friendly wave. Hello. Umaj. Okay, first we're gonna go up here. Oh. Oh gosh, there's lots of people here. Holy cannoli. I need a target. Okay, can we group up? No thanks, almost done. Okay, no problem, Kubrick. Level Urpa for our new friend. Still recharging. All right, we got the burnished gold key. We should be able to free this guy. something first oh sweet sweet okay help you find something I don't really have a lot to vendor be but... careful okay oh I forgot how do I get back up is it here there we go loot 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 why aren't you looting is it bugged out? Am I lagging? Don't lag! We are on Skull Rock now, so which is all the way on the west coast, so potential lag issues. Oh, why did our friend jump down? I guess we'll go back and follow him. But no, we need to go up here. Whatever, it's fine. We'll just change the loot to free for all. Down here. Okay, I thought I needed to go up to the one guy that's closer to the entrance. Maybe they're right. Okay, let's go. Let's go down. Oh, 
Oh, I did work on my defense in between streams. My defense isn't abysmal anymore. It's, um... 117 out of 120. I let some, uh... I let a dog wail on me. Other jailer is down here. Oh, I was just wrong. Um, okay, on my way. So I was just wrong. I don't know how he got down there so easily. I just totally lost track of him. Oh my god, the respawns are a menace! Come in. Yay. Okay, now I just need to get rogues and vials of blood. Summon a pet? Oh no, my thing's just bugged out. He did resummon his I pet. He's right there. <laughs> Bitch, what you doing? You thought. You thought wrong. <clears throat> Okay, I just need some rogues now. X was a rogue. <laughs> oh. Uh. I guess they still need rogues, just like I do. Should be some more rogues this way. Take him down. I can't cast that yet. Whee! It's so nice that the little humans have their own forge. Oh, who's that? CJ Smash? Sorry, CJ Smash. That sucks. Oh, 
was still in free for all. <laughs> Go back to group loot. I need a target. I'll show you a better place to get rogues. Okay. Show me, show me. Show me, friend. I'm following my new bestie. Over here in this tower, probably. So probably this tower would probably be safer. Cause it's way more open. So what I bet he's gonna show me. He's gonna show me this tower over here. You don't have to go inside so much to get the rogues. Easier, better. what you're doing. Isn't ready yet. Lunch run, lurk. Thank you so much for lurking, Lunar. We love our lurkers here. I hope you have a delicious lunch. One more rogue after this. There it is. That was easier than just than staying inside there. Yep, yep, yep. Appreciate ya. Have to remember that. Right, now we gotta go turn in.
Oh, because I didn't end up using my key. So I bet I can toss that. Let's go turn in the quest first, and then I'll toss it if it doesn't get eaten up by turning in the quest. Because I was in a group, so I rescued both that way. I'm back, Terran Mill, I'm back. Hello. What's up, friends? I am forsaken. Trust me. <gasps> Level 25. Sub -sub. Oh. Uh, is this better? This is not better. Guess we'll get this. Dabu. Oh, and we haven't been... I didn't work on my cooking enough to learn that recipe. Okay. That's okay. Can do that. Later. Speak quickly. Goodbye. All right. Ooh, what is this? I am for Return to Thunder Bluff. Victory okay. for Sylvanas. Be quick about your business. Oh, don't sell that. I disenchant that. <laughs> Watch your back. All right, now we need mountain lion blood. Let's go kill some kitties. No wolfies this time. We kill kitties this time. On our way to the field. The kitties don't deserve it, by the way. The humans do. The humans that we killed definitely deserve it. But these kitties don't. But, um, unfortunately, in WoW, everyone's just a mercenary who just does what they do. And they can't be blamed. Because I'm just trying to get paid, y'all. Just trying to get paid. It's just like real life. It's just like real life. Can't be blamed, just trying to get paid. <laughs> I want that bread. Okay. see any mountain lions where are you You're kitty 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 I already killed enough bears hmm I know there's more mountain lions up on those like little like dagger areas but I'm pretty sure that's like the higher level ones so we are not gonna go up there I'm just gonna like I guess just get any on the way to the field. Oh my gosh, why'd you kill the kitty? Oh, there's one. There's one, there's one. We can get one. Hello, kitty. I was starving, Mountain Lion. I feel especially bad. Sorry, cat. Sorry. It's not my fault. We need your blood to start a new plague. Very important for my people. Thank you for donating. Okay, we made it to the fields. Farmer gets. Where would he be? Up here somewhere? Oh, 
Oh wait, do I not have the quest for getting the skulls? Why don't I have that? Oh, because they want me to accept it down there. Okay. I feel like I should have gotten it beforehand, but whatever. It's fine. It's just more humans we get to kill. Which is fun. We're not going to think too hard about how my character used to be. I'm just going to go with it. Why you respawn on top of me? That's illegal. You don't get to respawn where I'm standing. Why? I think Getz is in this house. Oh my god. There are too many people here. They're spawning way too fast. Oh! Oh. Oh, they're AoE farming. They're doing that on purpose. <laughs> oh, good luck, Mr. Mage. I got scared for them for a second. Okay, Getz is probably... I guess Getz is maybe in here. Hmm. No? He was not in here. Maybe we can group up. Um, invite. They can't join our group. Oh. They can't join. Oh, but I can join their group. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, this bugged out. It's not showing me who's in the group. I lag in. It's shit. That's, a, that's the only thing that makes me so scared of playing on Skull Rock. Like, there's so many more people, but, like, I never lagged on Defias Pillager, but on Skull Rock, I lag. I do lag. Oh, shit. This is not good. Sack, sack. That mage. <sighs> that mage. Trying to AoE farm when they shouldn't have. Okay, 
I'm still in combat. Am I out of combat yet? Nope. Now I am. Daily farmers. Twenties are dangerous. Just like real life. Bitch. Oh, alone. I'm just trying to have a little picnic. Just a moment. With my fish and juice. Alright. Okay. The other farmer should be over here. Vesper, hello, hello, welcome back. How have you been? You did get another stream. Caught. <laughs> I did, I caught you. I caught you good. How have you been this week? Oh, there's Farmer Ray, okay. Was upstairs. All right, I need two more farm hands. Is that fucking mage again? Don't you get us attacked? I'm just trying to chill. I've been good. Watched your missed videos? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I love that. Anytime someone's watching my like lesser um, less reviewed stuff. It makes me so happy. I love the Mist series. Um, the one, first, second, and third one. I think they're amazing. Oh, there's a farm hand. <laughs> Oh. 
Okay, now I need mountain lion blood. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go get some kitties. No, lions. They'll know what I'm talking about. Thank you for the group. All right. We're gonna go get some kitty cats, y'all. I'm not gonna play this myself. Not my style of game, but it's nice to watch others. I know what you mean. Um, there's a lot of games that I will play like that. Like, um... A lot of, I guess you could say, Western, more Western RPGs, like um, Bioshock or, or games like that, that do require like some shooting. Um, I'm very picky with like what games I'm willing to play that require aim. <laughs> like I'll play a, a Zelda game and a few others, but for the most part, I will be uh, I was like, eh, whatever, I won't really. Um, but I would love to watch those. Um, I think it's very, very fun. So those type of games, I will watch the a Let's Play of it. Uh, Mario games are similar. I'm not huge into platformers, but I think it's fun watching them, especially particularly skilled people that can do like all kinds of crazy stuff with their jumps and things. I do really like that. So I feel the same way about certain games. I think also a fond childhood memory is um, watching my dad play Doom. So that's why I think maybe games like that I'm more interested in watching. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Gosh, all these bears, no kitties. I don't need the bears, I already did that. These kitties up here, they're higher level, aren't they? Uh, yeah, 30s instead of the 20s down here. I didn't have a PC growing up, so I missed the point and click heyday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? New, newer point and click games, as few and far between as they are, they like just do not hit the same as the ones from like the 90s and um, and I guess early 2000s. Although I feel like I feel like point and click games was really a 90s thing. Um, but I don't know exactly. It's a little blurry. <laughs> 90s and early 2000s is a little blurry for me. They all kind of it all kind of is like the same thing in my mind. But yeah, I feel like um, when people try to recreate the magic of those type of games, like it just doesn't it doesn't hit the same. And like Mist, you know, or Monkey Island, or like um, I'm trying to remember the name of the one. There was one that was like it was like you were on a, a spaceship, but it was the Titanic. But it was a spaceship. But it was the Titanic. But it was a spaceship. That one was really fun. I can't remember the name of it, though. But I played the heck out of that when I was a kid. Yeah, see, isn't that nice on Skull Rock? We hear a lot more of the 60 cheers. Yeah, some people just hit 60. I don't know if they're a horde of alliance. I'm not, like, watching. But it's nice to hear the more cheer hear the cheers. And know that it might, it's not going to always be Alliance. <laughs> like it was on Defias Pillager. Okay, maybe there's more kitties this way. Maybe this is smarter. We go south a little bit and get some kitties. I just need your blood, guys. I'm going to use it for a really good cause. You know, growing the population of my people. That's very important. Gosh, being a clothy is hard, even though, like, I fixed my defense, like, I'm still... My defense isn't terrible, but it's not good either now. Now I gotta level it up again, since I just got the level 25. My friends made fun of me for playing a Blood Elf. What? 
WoW Classic, never played it. I have played Live WoW, I don't know what they call it. Oh, if it's the live one, it's called Retail. You would call it Retail. My friends made fun of me for playing a Blood Elf. Your friends are crazy. Okay, so Blood Elves, of course, didn't exist in Classic, but they existed soon after they existed in Burning Crusade. And here's what I did when when this was like, when when Classic was Retail, you know, when it was Vanilla. I played um, a Torin Druid, okay, through Classic, through, well, Vanilla, original, okay. And then when Burning Crusade came out, and there was Blood Elves, I played Blood Elf. I played a Blood Elf Warlock. He was the best. Okay, and I just fell in love with the Warlock class. I fell in love with Blood Elves. If Blood Elves existed in Classic, I would be playing a Blood Elf right now, not an Undead. I'm only playing an Undead because I prefer the Undead aesthetic to the Orc one, and I want to play a Warlock. But truly, Blood Elf is the best. Whoever disagrees is crazy. They don't know what they're talking about. Are you flagged? Who are you? You are totally flagged right now. That's ballsy. Flagged in Hillsbrad. So yeah, I was like super into WoW. I play like way too much WoW. I don't know if you um if you've been here when I've explained this, but like I was obsessed. So I played EverQuest in its heyday. You know, late 90s, early 2000s, and of course WoW came out in 2004. And that was it. I played Hella through Classic, oh, Vanilla, through um, Burning Crusade, and through Wrath of the Lich King. And then after that, I kind of played like on and off. I kind of like fell off a little bit here and there. I didn't really like play that hardcore. And then the last um, expansion that I really played was Candleland. And I was like, and I didn't really play much after that. But in Cataclysm, I played, but not really. I pet battled. <laughs> I pet battled my way through Cataclysm. I did not really play that expansion. Um, but it had pet battles, so I did that. Um, but yeah, I love WoW. It, it like I have probably put more hours into World of Warcraft than any other game on this planet. Yes, even Sims 2. I've probably put more hours into World of Warcraft than Sims 2 um, in my lifetime. That's probably a true statement. And I put a lot of hours into Sims 2, as you guys that have been here for a while know. So, you know, WoW was a big game for me. Really big game for me. Definitely shaped a lot of, like, my thoughts on world building and how to make it kind of, like, fun and light and, like, and cool and not so heavy, you know? I got into the MMORPG and scene late, so I missed the good old day, best days of WoW, but I've heard the tales. So, like, when did you start? What expansion was it? And yeah, it's true. Modern MMOs don't hit like the old ones did, but I think there's a big reason. Legion? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that is late. Um, the thing is, is though, back in the day, the internet was so different. There was no such thing as social media. There was just like, there was chat rooms and forums. And so what was so cool, what was really so cool about MMOs is you could step into a virtual world and it did all the same things that a chat room did only with also a game attached. So you had something to do when you weren't chit-chatting it away. And it's just different now because social media exists. So, you know, also like the guides and stuff were not that fleshed out. Like there was Thoughtbot that you could go on for WoW, but like, it's not like now. It's not like going on WoWhead now and like everything about this game has been uncovered. There are no secrets. There's nothing new. Um, and then with a new expansion or new patch releases that does have new content, it's just insanely complicated. You know, like, I mean, I don't really know a huge amount about what other games are doing, but I know a little bit about what WoW is doing. I don't play retail because it's literally like, it's too complicated. Why would you want to raid in retail? It's ridiculous. Um, it makes no sense. Like, what's going on? And there's like too many buttons and there's the bosses have too many abilities. In Classic, people are like, oh, Classic was so hard. Classic was not hard. You face roll. But the problem that makes them think it was hard is one, a lot of them were kids and teenagers at the time. So they thought it was hard. Also, a lot of um, the information just wasn't out there. So you had to learn by either doing or by like a guild member explaining it to you. So it made it feel like it was a lot more challenging because you couldn't just go like look up a YouTube video strat. I mean, you could, but like you didn't need to, you didn't have to. It wasn't like so expected so the bosses were just they were just easier and in a way that made them more fun 
because you had to have community to be able to beat them because you would like just explain it to to others and they were simple enough that like your friend who wasn't very good at explaining things could still explain it to you and then you guys could go and, and beat the boss right and like i feel like like old war was probably the first dungeon that was a little bit like not like that that was actually like truly challenging um but other than that, like, they were really, they were not hard. They were not hard. And that was part of the magic. But the thing is, if you make them not hard nowadays with all the guides and, and everything out there, streamers, YouTubers, blah, 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 like, then they're just too easy. I don't, so I don't even know. I don't know how. I don't know how you would do it nowadays and make it fun in the same way. I mean, I guess hardcore, the hardcore challenge so that you, you die and so that the economy stays subdued and um and people don't really make it to the end game like i guess that's really this is really the way the mmo i've been I spent the most hours in a star wars or like i played that one not very much but i did play it i made it to max level and then i quit it um i think the social aspect of this is followed by the wayside yes it, it totally has the social aspect is totally followed by the wayside which makes it a completely different experience nowadays all oh, level 52 dead sad So yeah, it's just such a completely different experience. And with the internet the way that it is now, I don't think it's possible to create the experience that we had in the 90s and early 2000s with games like EverQuest, with the first three expansions, or the base game and then the first two expansions of WoW, um, you know, with Final Fantasy XI, you know, all of the games that were popular around that time. My friend just wants to solo MMOs and I'm like kind of missing the point. Yes, I think it's missing the point too. I think it's missing the point too. Like you can, like you could solo EverQuest back in the day too, but like it was so, why would you do that? That's so boring. That's so boring and dumb. Um, you would never do that. So yeah, it's just different. It's different now. But I'm really enjoying like streaming the hardcore challenge with you guys. I tried twice. I had two, two druids that I tried to beat it solo um, without you guys. It didn't really work out. <laughs> But maybe with y'all I can make it to 60, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how far I make it. We already almost died twice today. Ah, oh, the 20s are hard. <clears throat> the 20s are really hard. If I can make it to 30, I would even feel accomplished, I think. If I could make it to 40, I would feel and get a in my mount, I would feel super accomplished. That would be amazing. Bye, kitty. Yeah, there's more kitties down here. Yeah, if you're gonna solo it, like, why not just play, like, a regular role-playing game? Like, I don't really get it, you know? Like, that's the same, like, just play Baldur's Gate. <laughs> you know, or similar games, right? Like, that's the same, you know, that those games are designed for that solo experience. Because even an MMO that has a good solo experience, like, it's not the same. And I'll tell you another thing, another MMO thing that thing thought that I had. So I was playing Palea quite a lot when it first dropped, when it first opened up the beta, right? And because you can't create a sense of community in that game because you don't see the same people running around. You know, it's heavily instanced. Um, even like the main town, like there's different instances of it. Like you don't pick a server, you don't see the same people over and over. So you can't create community. And it made it just be like, oh, so I'm playing a shitty Stardew. Uh, whereas if they would have had servers, I know servers are a relic of the past and like this is not server time anymore. It's 2023, we don't have servers. But like, the fact that I couldn't see the same people over and over, chopping trees and things, like, there's no sense of community, so it's, why is this an MMO? I don't get it. Um, so yeah, I stopped playing Palea because of that, and it was like, oh, it's gonna be like a Stardew MMO, which would be so cool, which would be so cool, but because they could not build a sense of community with the way that they had structured the kind of, like, back-end technical way that the zones loaded in the game, like, it didn't work out. Mist had an MMO... Um, or something. No, you did not make that up. You did not make that up. There was a missed MMO. There was. I never played it. I don't know anything about it. But it did exist. And I don't think it lasted very long. And I don't, I don't really know what the gameplay was like. 
Um, but I assume it was puzzle solving. And I do know that the MMO did a lot for fleshing out the world. Because there's, like, lore facts and stuff that I, about, like, the mist world, like the Denny and stuff, that come from the MMO. So I do know that. But I think you can learn most of that stuff from reading the mist books, too. Which are very good, by the way. But yes, it did. I want to say it was Mist 4 or 5 that was like the MMO. And I think now they're the single player version of it or something like that. Like, don't quote me on that because I don't really know. <laughs> but I know that if you um, if you Google about Mist 4 or 5, whichever one it is, like you'll find the MMO aspects. But to me, Mist 1, 2, and 3, that is the complete trilogy. I don't feel like any of the games after that like did anything that I am interested in. Also the technology just kept getting better and better and the first person games like nowadays um, with how sensitive my simulation sickness is, I just can't really play them. So it doesn't really matter if they're any good or not. <laughs> I'm not gonna play it anyways. Oh my gosh, these cats are just not dropping their blood. I've still only got four blood and I've murdered so many kitties. I did watch gameplay of the of five and the third world is odd. Like I'm not sure how the player would know what to click on. So yeah, you do that. So that's a struggle in the third one even a little bit just because they did that like 360 view, which is cool. Like it looks so cool but it is a challenge for the point and click genre to know what to click on. Um, that's that's even happening, starting to happen in the third one. So with a fully uh, realized 3D world, it's even like more challenging. You have to give the player more clues of what to click on, you know? Cause like, for example, something in video game design, if you've ever looked like into it or whatever, is like players won't look up. <laughs> Players won't look up and they won't look down either. They just look straight ahead and that's where they look. And so if it's not straight ahead, you have to like figure out how to like get them to turn their camera. Welcome back, Lunar. Welcome back. What'd you have for lunch? What'd you have for lunch, my friend? I had a little burger thing for lunch, personally, before the stream started. It was tasty. I found another kitty. Cheeseburger and fries, oh my god, that's like what I had too. I didn't have fries, I just had a burger, but yeah, that's basically what I had too. It's too far away. Should I, should, I should get back into WoW at some point, I say, well, well, you know, if you're gonna do it, now with the classic hardcore scene this is the time my friend this is the time this is the most fun wow has been in years years okay because wow was such a um important and formative game for me i've considered many many times you know streaming it right but i was just like i don't know how to make that fun you know i could play on like a private server like turtle wow or something but like I don't know, Blizzard doesn't like those, they get shut down a lot, it's very precarious, da 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 da. And it's a long game too. Like it takes a long time to level in the older WoWs, that's what I truly love, because I would never stream retail. Like, I wouldn't, sorry. I'm if you love it, that's you know, that's beautiful for you, but not for me. And so but then official hardcore servers, and I'm like, mmm, yes, we can stream this. So hence, like I'm doing it now. Um but yeah. And truly, this is the most fun WoW has been in so long, you know, outside of private server situations like Turtle WoW or, or simpler. Because WoW has not felt magical for me since um, Wrath of the Lich King, truly. Like, if I could have, if I could have Wrath WoW with all the conveniences it has, okay, but no cross realm. Okay, no cross realm, so you keep your sense of community, but I still do want the dungeon finder and some guild bank. You know, I still want those things, but um, no cross realm, so you can still have the sense of community, right? And um, plus, pet battles <laughs> from Cataclysm. Nothing else from Cataclysm, but pet battles. 
That would be like the magical perfect wow for me. Unfortunately, um, Wrath, Wrath that you can actually get from Blizzard, that version, because you can play Wrath, um, but it's filled with GDKP. It's filled with GDKP, and the economy is fucked because of it. So it's like, why would I, why? No. <laughs> no. But that would be like my perfect wow. That would be my perfect wow. Because the class balance also in Wrath is so good. It's so good. Classic has that magic, though. Classic has that magic of that, like, big expansive world. The fact that the leveling's a bit slower, like... It is kind of beautiful about that. I'm out of range. You want the old stuff with some of the newer quality of life stuff, yeah. Like, I want that sweet spot. I want that sweet spot. Because there is things about Classic that bother me. Like, no guild bank. Why do we not have a guild bank? That's so dumb. Um, I hate that. Why do I not have a mount tab? Because, like, what am I going to do? Like, if I do hit 60, what am I going to do? Like, uh, raid, that's it. But, like, what? No, I would like to do mount collecting. But there's no... There's no mount tab. There's no pet tab. Like, what is that? That's dumb. There should be pet tab. You know, they don't even have to have the battles. They could just have the pet tab from Wrath, you know? That would be sufficient. Um, so yeah, there's certain quality of life things I want. The problem is, is that once you start adding in the quality of life stuff, like, this is basically what happened, um, from my memory anyway. Is like they added some quality of life stuff. People are like, we want more quality of life stuff. Oh my god, the game takes so long to me. Blah, 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 blah. I'm a baby who doesn't actually like playing the game. I just want to have everything for nothing. And you end up with so much quality of life stuff. You end up with so much like solving the problems that um, the game becomes loses the social and community aspects that make you want to keep playing through the boring ones. Okay, so you gotta be careful. Finally, another blood. You gotta be careful about how much quality of life stuff you do add. And I do think that World of Warcraft, that's a big problem, is it's so focused on efficiency that it loses the social human aspects. That's another reason why I think oh, that retail is not good nowadays. There's no community. There's no community in Reef. Now, you get together with your buddies and it's still fun, but then you created the community by bringing your friends in. The game did not create that in the way that it used to. Okay, now they're dropping blood. Man, I just had to kill a bunch of your friends for nothing, I guess. So yeah, some quality of life stuff is fine, but you have to have a balance and you have to be picky about which quality of life stuff you add in um, before you start to lose the community aspects. The few off streamers I've seen on retail mostly just pet farm or mount farm on it. True, because that's what's actually entertaining. That's what people care about. Like, if you watch modern raids in from retail, what's going? You have no idea what's going on. You have no idea what's going on on that screen. So why would anybody stream it? Why would you watch it? It's not fun. But it is fun if you're doing like some kind of rare mount farm and you're watching the person try to get that rare drop. And it's like, oh, they got it! It finally dropped after two hours! Yay! You know, or whatever. Like that's fun. That's fun to watch the anticipation. And all of that is interesting. So that's why they're streaming it that way. And that's what I would do in the game too, because that's what's fun in the game at that point. Get away from the bear. Like, and I, there is a small market, I'm sure, that likes to, to raid and that likes to watch the raider streamers. There is, but that's just not the majority. It's just not. It's too far away. Is what I would do in retail. I did a raid like twice and got yelled at twice. No, not for me. Yeah, like, 
I don't know. Old raids just hit different. It hit different when you were yelled at, too, because they weren't difficult. So it felt like when your raid kept fucking up over and over and over and then the raid leader lost their shit, like, you didn't think, like, that they were bad for doing that because it's not like it was hard. It was just trying to get everyone to not make a mistake at the same time was the challenge. Not in any on any individual level was it challenging in that way. I only heard how popular WoW was, but was it actually yes? When you were young, were you obsessed with this game? Yes. Yes, Celestial. Yes. Yes. Like, unequivocally. There was years where this is what I did. Period. Like, this was what I did with my free time. Period. The reason me and my husband are together, truly, is this game. This game. Okay? Like, we met. And we met, and it was just supposed to be, like, a hookup. Like, it was not supposed to be serious. It was like one date, right? But we both played WoW. We both played WoW. And that's how we got into a real conversation. Okay? Which opened up the door for like, then he cooked me dinner and he was an amazing cook and all of these things that like, and then we actually got along. We agreed on a lot of stuff politically, blah, 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 morally as well. You know, um, very similar in our religious opinions, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. You know, the real connection form. But the spark of that real connection, the spark was wow. It was wow. I know it was used, I just, I don't know. I mean, I tried 14 a bit, looked fun. Okay, but Final Fantasy 14 is a modern MMO. It is not from WoW's day. What you have to understand is that we were playing games like EverQuest and Final Fantasy XI and loving them. And then WoW came out. Okay? And it was all of the best things from all of those games. Plus, so much higher quality while still being able to run on absolute potato machines. What you have to understand is these other MMOs, they did not look, they did not look cute. Okay, they didn't. They didn't look cute. They looked ugly. Okay? And while looking ugly, you had to have a pretty nice machine to effectively run them and actually play, get good ping, not lag, all of that stuff. Not true for WoW. It had this like cartoony style so that it looked good and you could run it on a potato. Just everything just happened to come together for WoW and it just exploded. Everyone that was playing MMOs, any MMO, was now playing WoW. That's how it was back then. Everyone was playing WoW. It didn't matter what game you played before, what game you thought was best before. Bitch, I need- I wanted that lion, but... Um... Yeah. So it didn't matter whether you were playing Final Fantasy XI, EverQuest, RuneScape? Well, that's not really true. People that were playing RuneScape didn't move over to WoW because RuneScape was free. <laughs> RuneScape was free and WoW was a monthly subscription. But if you were playing one of the monthly subscription games, you were suddenly playing WoW. That's- that's- it was massive. Yeah, the new 14 was inspired by WoW, right? Yeah, it was basically like it took inspiration from WoW and then was like, what if WoW had an actually like really good high quality story the same way that we do in single player games? Not that WoW doesn't have a good story, it does, but it's not about that. It's not about that. It's about the world. This world doesn't care about you, you know, and 14 is not like that. 14, you're the chosen one, right? Or rather, they took inspiration from WoW's mission and stuff, right? Yes. Yes. I do think that's true. Yeah. Yeah, 14 was like, you know, 11's combat, it was very sluggish. It was more like WoW in the sense that it was a massive world that didn't care about you as an individual, but the combat was sluggish. 14 is not like that. 14, the combat is good, just like WoW, but it's way more focused on the story. So you're still a chosen one in 14. But it works. It works in an okay way. You're not the chosen one in WoW. Only really later expansions you are. I'm talking about the classic. I'm talking about the first vanilla and then the first two expansions. You're not the chosen one. You're just some guy. You're just some guy. And you take jobs from whoever and do whatever to progress. You're a mercenary, basically. You're here as a denizen of the world. The world is the main character. So that's what's big difference about WoW. 
11 was like, you're just some guy. Yeah. Leroy Jenkins. That's right. <laughs> 50 DKP minus. Many whelps. Handle it. Yes. We, we love this. You know, um, the Leroy Jenkins video? That, they basically ended up using, they use that for guild recruitment, which is so funny. Same with the, the Onyxia Many Whelps video. They used it for guild recruitment. It's so funny. But yeah, it really was. Like, what people say about WoW was true. That is how it was. I forgot what MMO it was when people were in raids for like a week. Yeah, Eleven was like that. I'm out of raid. There was things in in Eleven that just took days to do. Um, also in EverQuest, it was kind of like that. So here's what was interesting about EverQuest: it was an earlier game, so there was no such thing as instances for dungeons and stuff, right? So you'd literally like fight through the dungeon, and then you would be in line. You would be in line to fight to fight the raid boss, and you would have to wait for it to respawn. Because there was just one. There was no instances, so there was just one. And if there was, like, two other raids in front of you, you just waited. Okay, you just waited. And there were world bosses and stuff, too. And again, like, you just waited your turn to kill it, uh, which was insane. Um, EverQuest was a very difficult game, <laughs> um, you know, in many ways. And also a very easy game in many ways, but a very different kind of game. So yeah, um, that would happen in older MMOs because instances weren't really a thing. Uh, I don't think WoW was the first game to have instances, period, but I do think it was the first game to like popularize instances and standardize the way that we did instances versus what was open world. The other amazing thing about WoW is that the, the, there's, no, there's no zones, okay? Like in older games, like in EverQuest and Final Fantasy XI, like, we we flew. We did a flight path, right, from the Sepulchre over here to Terran Mill. In a game like EverQuest, there would have been a zone line where, like, you froze and it had to load in Hillsbrad Foothills when you left Silverpine. That was a big thing about WoW. There was no, like, zone lines. The only time you met a zone line was when it was an instance. And that wasn't true in other games. Because, you know back before there was just a lot of technological challenges like how did you run it um or you break it up in, in, into uh zones right um but wow didn't do that and it somehow still ran on a potato which was amazing i played 11 on my ps2 fun times yes okay well that's what was cool about 11 is that you could play it on consoles and 14 you can play it on consoles so that is a really cool aspect of it you cannot play wow on a console but you know what? Now that now that we're all Microsoft gamers here, what if what if you could play WoW on Xbox? What if they make an Xbox controller supported version? That would be interesting. I would be very curious about that. You know, WoW on a console. I don't know if I'd play it, but I'd be really curious about it. Like I'd like to see it. I think it would be neat if that existed. I don't know how you would do it, because there's just so many buttons in WoW. How would you how would you make it controller compatible with the the few amount of buttons a controller has? I have no idea. It would be an interesting challenge though, and I would like to see it if they could make that happen. I know they talked about the coding, it is the issue. They'd have to rebuild it from the ground up. I'm not surprised. Because it was just never intended to have such a small number of buttons. So yeah, it would be challenging. Um, they would have to rebuild a lot of aspects of it. Because you can see, like, I don't even have my minibar on the screen. I got rid of it. It's gone. Minibar, minibar gone. I hit it. Because um, I know, like, what all the buttons do. Oh, C. M. N. Okay. Oh, I need to spend my talent points to 25. Um, I know all the buttons, so I don't need that. Right? So, how would you handle the concept of the minibar um, on a controller. I don't know. You know, someone would, if there's someone very smart would have to come up with it. Feeds mountain lion? 
<laughs> don't feed it, Celestial. Don't feed it. I have to kill them. I need their blood. I need two more bloods. They are being very stingy with their blood. I don't understand how I kill one and get no blood. What is with these all these bloodless lions? How? How are you living? How are you alive, sir? How are you alive? It's starving. Yeah, they're all starving. It's like why why in retail, why you have to do that bag is because of the coating. Yes. Yes, exactly. Maybe you should talk to it and trade with it. Do you think it would just give me its blood willingly? Do you think it would just give me its blood willingly? That would be so nice of it. I hear lions like tea, though that's true. Everybody knows that. Lions love tea. It's their favorite. What are you doing? Are you trying to help me? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we need one more blood. Yeah, lions love tea. That's very true. Everybody knows this. Let's see if any of these lion spawns are up. We just need one more. We just need one more. Hey, lion, if I um, brewed you some tea, would you let me drain your blood from your body? Um, Celestial, it was a good idea, but he said no. I have some Earl Grey. Would you like that, starving mountain lion? You know, tea has properties that suppress hunger that might make you feel better since you're starving. Um, I don't know, though. I don't know. If that would help, but you know, if you hurt the lion, I could, I could help him with that. He's dead already. Why am I still talking? He's dead already. He's gone. Yeah, what you do is go up to it nicely, chat about the weather, and then it turns its head and you fucking stab with a straw suck of blood. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I got you. I understand. Oh my god. <clears throat> these lions. These lions just out here not having any blood in their body. Somehow maintaining homeostasis with zero blood. I don't know how they're doing it. How are you alive? Yay, we did it. Got all the blood. Okay, we can go back now. Oh shit, it brought his friends every man for itself. It's okay. I got it. I'm top tier. Like, I'm amazing. I'm so good, y'all. I'm so good. <laughs> you distracted i'll put it in a chokehold thank you celestial thank you it's because of you i can kill these lions so easy does this still have mages make portals to places like an old wow yes mages make portals i think at level 40 i think at level 40 mages make portals but yeah it's still like um mages in classic it's like they have the ice spec the fire spec and the arcane spec they still make portals they still make um water they still make water and bread for you. Um, so yeah, those those were all aspects of the mage that existed in classic. So yes. I cry in a little bit. Celestial, you made me you made me laugh too much. Now I cry in a little bit. I have to dab it off. <clears throat> I have such crazy hooded eyes, the tears often go up. They go up into the eyelid, into this crease instead of down. It's so annoying. Do y'all's eyes do that? Does anybody in the chat's eyes do that? My eyes do that. What is it? Hey, I got I got your blood. The living. Is this an upgrade? It's a big upgrade. Nice. Patience. Discipline. What was this? Elixir of pain. Quest item. Okay. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Where is this? What? Oh, right here. I was like, where's the what question mark? It? This one. Victory for Sylvanas. Victory! Okay. Um, accept souvenirs of death. Okay, I can get the skull quest I now. Fantastic. Okay, I guess I just couldn't pick it up before. Alright, sell our shit. We do have a lot of shit in our bags. Exactly Let's sell this. Need. Okay, we keep you. Sell, sell, sell. This is a quest item.
Okay. Trust What's no next? One. Oh, run back to Hills Brad Fields. Okay. Before we run back, I'm um, like two seconds. I got. I have to pee. Don't go anywhere, guys. I'll be right back. I, I'm. I'm like the fastest. It'll take like no time at all. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. That's why you should do your Kegels, kids. Okay. Now we have to go back to the field, apparently. Let's go. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What are we going to be doing? Oh! We're going to get Stanley. Stanley, we're coming for you. Lunar, I'm sorry. Sorry. It's a doggy. He's a doggy, but he looks kind of like a wolfie. It's one. I thought it was ten. Oh my god, did you oversleep today, Celestial? What happened? Did you oversleep? I woke up a little bit later than normal. Not by much, though. I normally get up at six. I woke up at like 7.30 today. I got out of bed at like 7.30. But I did not sleep good last night. I like, um, kept, uh, I kept waking up, and uh, then when I finally woke up for realsies, I, it was like a bad dream. It was like a bad dream, but... So I feel like I did not sleep that good, even though I know I slept. Like, and I slept in late even, but still. I woke up at 8. Yeah, that's not that late. <laughs> it's not that late. What was the dream? Oh my god, it was so, it was so stupid. It was so weird. Okay, so in the dream... In the dream, um, me and my husband and a work friend and also a real life friend. These, my husband work, for, these people don't cross. These people don't, but they did anyways. They were all there for some reason going with me to this theater to watch this like new Simpsons movie. Now I know why it was a Simpsons movie because I watched Super Eyepatch Wolf's new video yesterday. He made, he released a video essay about the Simpsons. I know that's why. But it didn't make any sense because it was in like a theater, like a theatra, an, uh, like an, an R.E. theater, theatra. Um, and the reason why is because it was like fully orchestrated and there was like participation from the audience, similar to like Rocky Horror. But like it was all managed by these performers that were also performing in front of the movie. And like I got called up and they took me backstage. And like I was supposed to be, I thought I was doing something like to participate in this for the movie, right? But it turned out like it was like a lie and I got kind of sort of kidnapped, but not really. Like I realized that the movie was over and I was still backstage. And so I left and I went to go like try to find like my husband or something. Oh, also the work friend was back there with me. And like we worked this out together, how it was like this wasn't this wasn't right. So like I went to go try to find my husband and my other friend that were there with us and um and like I just couldn't find them they weren't responding to calls or texts and they weren't there and like I think like I started to believe that um that my husband and friend had like thought that we left and like they went home without us I don't but I never found out if that was true because I woke up <laughs> but I started to think that and started to panic um so that was the dream it was awful Run, 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 little hunter, druid, whatever that was. I think that was a hunter and a druid, something. Two taurins. So yeah, basically I got abandoned with a um, really sneaky kidnapper. Was the dream. But I don't know if I was actually abandoned. It's just what I thought was about to happen. But I, I woke up before anything could happen, so I don't really know. Dreams are weird. I'm guessing you're into theater. Yeah, I did theater when I was a kid, like in high school and stuff. I did like high school theater, community theater, that sort of thing. Bye, Stanley. Sorry. Sorry, Lunar. Sorry, Lunar. I turned him into a wolf and now I'm going to kill him. But now or more recently? No, not really. I don't have time. I don't have time. But I do this, which is kind of similar, you know, definitely performing, entertaining, that sort of thing. Um, also, for my day job, I'm an instructional designer. And uh, and basically what that is, is like, it's like a teaching job, but it's like at the corporate level, like for adults. So I have to get up and do presentations and help people with presentations and stuff like that. So like I still am performing all the time, just not in a 
theater type of situation. So like, that's what I do now. And I still use a lot of my theater training, like all the time doing this and also um, at work. So, yeah. So like, no, but I do other things that are very, very similar. Okay, we need to find Citizen Wilkes. I'm guessing Simpsons might mean you care a lot about friends and stuff. Maybe. No, it's literally because I watched Super Eye Patch. I watched Super Eye Patch Wolf uh, video about it uh, yesterday, and so that's the that's the the movie or show or whatever we were going to because I just watched that yesterday. Yeah. So I know that part. I know that part. No, I just think it was a normal, typical bad dream. You know, I wish I knew what dreams meant. Yeah, I don't think I don't I don't necessarily think like dreams, individual pieces of dreams mean something. Um, but I do think that if you are anxious, you're more likely to have anxiety inducing dreams. OK, I do think that I do think also that um, your dreams are kind of a way that your brain does things to commit um, information to long term memory. So I don't think they necessarily are sensitive in that way. I just think that they are like a process that your brain does to filter through what is important and unimportant information. I believe what some others say your brain's trying to relay a message. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, where is Citizen Wilkes? Where does he spawn? I think he just walks around, like, paths back and forth right here. I just get nightmares, not fun dreams. Oh, that sucks, Vesper. I wonder if, like, it's like your nightmares often wake you up. Because most people, you dream every night, but you most of the time are not going to remember those dreams. Um, but I think nightmares you're more likely to wake up during and then remember. I used to have a lot, when I was a kid, of, like, monster chasing me type of nightmares constantly and I would wake up for them that sucked okay where the heck in heck is he let's see he patrols around the roads of the town yeah okay that's what I thought so maybe so he just walks back and forth on this road Because if I think about all the dreams that I had, I do think it's more often nightmares, but I don't think that's because I actually have more nightmares than regular dreams. I think it's because the nightmares I'm more likely to wake up during, and then I remember them. It's so bad I live alone, I know I'm alone, I'll check every room, oh my god, that's the worst. That's the worst. I know how you feel, like my first, um, my freshman year of college, I lived in the dorms, but, like, my roommate was never, ever, ever there. So I was effectively living alone, um, even though I technically wasn't, you know? So I know what you mean. I wish I knew my dreams meant I don't dream much, but my last year were weird. Oh, my God, tell me, Celestial, tell me your dreams. I told you my dream, tell me your dreams. I want to hear about it. Wait, is this the Citizen Wilkes? There he is. I found you, sir. I found you, I found you. Don't nobody else grab him. Don't grab him, don't grab him. I want you. I want you, babe. I want you, babe. Yeah, them. I need a target. Get him. Okay. Um, Farmer Kalba. Where is he? Uh, over here, okay. This way, this way. He's in this farm. We gotta kill these guys. And kill peasants. Okay, the first one was, and I get it now, I was next to this 
giant like futuristic upside down pyramid flower display garden area oh my god that sounds beautiful though i would love to see it i want to see the beautiful pyramid garden i think it's so funny that these hillsbrad people drop pitchforks um i know they're farmers so that's why they have pitchforks but like in my mind they have pitchforks because it's like they're like gonna go kill the beast, which they are gonna do. Like they do want to kill me, literally. They don't want undead here. Like I'm the beast. So I think that's very funny. I'm out of range. Oh man, someone's AoE farming these bitches up. There wasn't much of a dream. I was just walking in it. There were glowy flowers and holographic displays and heat frame futuristic robes. That sounds amazing. I want to go to there. I want to go to the pretty place. It's a mage AoE farming. Oh, Crocolis got him. So sad. I know why I dropped classic the first time. I couldn't be a space goat. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be in Burning Crusade for that. But if you play um, the Wrath version, you can be a space goat, which you can. So you can play Wrath and be a space goat. Um, but then you have to deal with like the way that the Wrath community is kind of weird. It's like really, really a lot of GDKP and all that stuff. I mean, I miss that I can't be a Blood Elf. I'm really sad that I can't be. I would be. I would be if I could. My Blood Elf was so beautiful. He was amazing. I love that. And he had like the like long, luscious red locks. And I love the Blood Elf voice. And the, the fact that they do the Napoleon Dynamite dance, like they're just so perfect. Or my Panda, yeah. But nobody wants to play Panda Land. Okay, nobody wants to play Miss the Pandaria. Nobody. Okay, even if you like being a panda, you don't want to play Mr. Pandaria. What the heck? It's, it's not good. <laughs> Noba panda. <laughs> oh my god. When Miss of Pandaria came out, the absolute fucking rage from people that were like, this doesn't fit World of Warcraft and all this stuff, like so mad so mad about it like it was insane um you know because they were like oh you know we have to have this furries blah 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 and it's like we already have worgen y'all why are you mad i liked worgen by the way i'm um a horde girly okay i love the horde but like if i'm a, if i can be a worgen i'll alliance it up a little bit and they don't come in till Kata, so. And I don't want to play Kata. I just pet battle all the time. It does not fit that well with Wow But Panda. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Okay, we got Farmer Kaba. We just need to get peasants now. All right, let's kill some peasants. The second one was what the fuck. For some reason, I was piloting some kind of island ship. What? I thought you were about to say mech. I really thought I was about to read you were piloting a mech, and I was about to tell you to get in the robot. Um, it had a ring at the bottom of it and it flew on water and there were people behind me and I get the impression they wanted me to do something. Well, why didn't you do the thing? Okay, so this was like a get in the robot dream. Celestial, why didn't you pilot the thing right? God. <laughs> oh my God. That's a crazy dream. You had some crazy ones, for real. Um, where's the peasants? I don't know. It was just that then I woke up. Yeah. Oh my god, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, none of these guys are peasants. And people AoE farming, meaning I can't, like, get the peasants. It's like, the heck. <clears throat> Here we go. There's a peasant. I did pilot it. I just didn't know what happened afterwards because I woke up. Yeah. 
I mean, the dreams that you remember are always ones that you wake up in the middle before they get to any kind of, like, semblance of an ending. For real. So you never get to know. You never get to know. It's a bummer. Run, little human. Bye. It's too far away. You can't. You can't get away from me. I have range. Magical spells. I'm seriously starting to hate when you have a great idea and then two seconds later you forget for real. Those are the worst. Well, because then since you forgot it, you don't even really know if it was a good idea or not. So it's just like nagging you in your brain. It's like, maybe it was an amazing idea. Maybe it was a shitty idea. You'll never know. You'll never know. Okay, there are just like not a lot of peasants. My bestie tells me if I meant to remember, I will. Yeah, I heard that before. I don't know if I believe that. I think that's just what people tell themselves so that they don't have to feel like weird about forgetting. Oh, bitches. Thank you, Mr. Mage. I hope you kill him. I have a target. And we leveled up. Thank you. like I did. If you die, they post your shame. So this is an add-on. Death log right here is an add-on. So you can see everyone that's dying in hardcore because it's hardcore. Once you die, you lose your character. Like that's it. Um, you're done. And so I have this add-on so that I can see who's dying. And then I have it set so that it does a pop-up if um, it's somebody that's higher level than me. So we're not getting pop-ups constantly, but we're getting them sometimes. And we can see like if like a level 60 dies or something. So no, Blizzard is not doing this. I have an add-on that's doing this. Because I think it's very entertaining to see who's dying in hardcore. When, like, it matters so heavily. And my thing is, this is still bugged out. I need to reload my UI. So yeah, this is an add-on that I think is fun to use on the hardcore servers. Death log. This is what it's called. And that's also why you hear the cheers, so because if you reach 60 in hardcore, that's considered like beating the hardcore challenge. And so uh, you'll hear cheers when people reach 60. Yeah, it's a shaman. It's a Torin shaman. 
And this is classic, so only Horde can be shamans. You can't have shamans on Alliance side. And we can't have paladins on Horde side in classic. Paladins are overrated. True. That is a completely factually true opinion. Who needs stinky paladins? They smell bad. Because the alliance smells bad. I fully believe, like, you've been to Stormwind, right? Like, you know they don't know how to bathe every day. They're like, I bathe once a week, and I don't need That's definitely what the Alliance says, and that's what it's like in Stormwind. So, you know. Proceed at your own peril into that place. Okay, we got enough peasants. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Okay, so we're going to go turn this in. That being said, I hate myself and was doing monk healer. Why? I'm sorry. I don't know why you did that to yourself, Vesper. It's a very strange thing to do. Did you know that Monk is the least popular, least played class? Nobody likes Monk. For whatever reason. I guess it's just not that interesting to people. And I think that's still true even with like... Because don't they have another one like Evoker? out now i think that the monk is still the least even with evoker being out i think i might be wrong on that Yeah, my favorite classes are Warlock and Druid. So obviously I like the cheatery bitches. I don't like to play fair. I want to have all the skills, all the utility. Um, so yeah, that's what I like. <laughs> like I tried to play a rogue before and I'm just like, why? I could just play a Druid and have my kitty form then I can still do all those things and also be a kitty. So like, why? I try to play Hunter a little bit. Why? I could play a Warlock, I could have my demons. I don't gotta feed them. They are self-sufficient, they take care of themselves, they don't need me to baby them. So, you know, that's how I am. <laughs> Supposedly, with the Hardcore Challenge, the Warlock has the lowest average level for dying. So it is like the hardest class. But I think people just don't know how to play a Warlock. They don't know. They take too many risks. They don't get it. I have a bone to pick with hunters and their pets. What is it? Why? Tell me. More so the pet. What is it? Why do you hate hunter pets? I'll tell you the only reason I'm, I ever like try to have interest in a hunter is to get the pink flame strider in Mulgore. And then I can be like Barbie with a pink flamingo. So that's that's where my interest in hunters begins and ends. <laughs> the pink flamingo flame strider in Mulgore. What now? Goodbye. Beware the living. All right. Selma junk. 
And you are. <clears throat> Okay, what were all those skip steps that just skipped? Fly to Undercity. Okay, because I did do that. Deposit. Okay, we're going back to the Barrens, you guys. We're going back to the Barrens. Because newbies don't turn off the auto aggro. Um, so it runs and they keep down. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is that. Yep. Yes. Obviously... I know how to do a pet class. You see, he always on passive. Always. Okay. And he only attacks because these are all macroed for him to attack. And then I just click passive again if I run. Or since he's a void walker, I click sacrifice. And you are. Because I can do that. Okay, we are still gonna go to Undercity because I need to train I need to train my spells. Okay. Also, let's look at where we are here. Okay. I got Demonic Embrace and Improved Voidwalker, yes. We got Improved Corruption. I think I need to keep doing Improved Drain Life. I think that's the best for survival reasons. Yeah, okay. Do you get fancy dances in this game? Was that where this stuff came from? Yes, you get fancy dances. I do, my, based on my memory, WoW was the first game to do, like, fancy, unique dances. Like, dancing in EverQuest, like, I know what that animation was. It was literally, like... That was it. I just did it. The legs do not move. You, they just shoulder shimmied in a little circle like this. And it looked way worse. What I just did looked, like, ten times better than it looked in EverQuest. I don't remember what dancing was like in Final Fantasy XI. Don't remember. This one, you get cool dances. Which is part of why I loved my Blood Elf so much, because the Blood Elf guys did the Napoleon Dynamite dance, which I loved. It was so good. So I miss him. I, I, the fact that I can't be a Blood Elf in Classic makes me so sad, because I would Napoleon Dynamite dance all the time. Like, I love this girl, okay? My little my little undead girl. Like, I love her, but her dance is... It's, it's not very inspired, okay? It's fine. It's not very... It's not that good. It's not the Napoleon Dynamite dance, for sure. Okay, but I like her aesthetic, so, you know. And I do like how her voice sounds, which is very important. So when I'm picking, like, the race, it's, like, about flavor, and it's about the sound of the voice. If I don't like the sound of the voice, I can't do it. I can't do it, you know? But I like her voice. I like the Torin the Torin voice. And I love the Blood Elf voice. It's so good. It's so good. So yeah. Everything you're saying is true. Alright, let's go let's go put our skulls in the bank. It can hold on to them. Deposit some of our other junk too. Speak quickly. Okay. You can go to the bank. You can go to the bank. Oh, it did it for me. Oh, wait, but where's my digger claw? There it is. Farewell. Okay, let's train our class spells. You're not sure it's not because the undead are closest to getting to humans on Alliance Vesper. The reason I struggled to read that sentence is because I can't believe you would say such violent things to me. How dare you? No. As we have established, they don't bathe in Stormwind. Okay, the humans are stinky. Absolutely not. Never. You know they shower once a week, even if they don't need it. You know this. Just look at them. Just walk around Stormwind and tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. Because I definitely know. I know. That's how they are. No. No. No humans. Not in WoW. Can't do it. Absolutely not ever. I have tried, okay? I've tried to give them their fair shake. I've tried. But... What do you require? It just doesn't hit. It doesn't hit like Horde hits. And it never will. 
Victory okay. for Sylvanas. We learned lots of new things. Okay, corruption, we've already got that macro. Drain mana. Okay, did I make a macro for drain mana? Um, no, I don't have a macro for that. I don't have a macro for that. Okay, let's make it. Where's the drain mana icon? Spells. There it is. Drain mana. MMO UIs are confusing. They can be. They can be. Just know that retail's worse. Retail's worse. Um, yeah. Drain Soul got that macro. Curse of Tongues. Don't have that macroed. But what's the icon for Curse of Tongues? Make sure I remember Ooh. what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Curse of Tongues. Is that how you spell it? G U E S, yes. I don't know how to spell you guys. I don't know how to spell tongue. Save. Okay, life tap. We've got that macro. It sends demons. We don't need to macro that. We can just put it on our bar. Detect lesser invisibility, we don't need to macro that. Searing pain, we've got that macroed. Eye of Killrog, we don't need to macro that. We can just put it on our thing. Um, mm, 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 we've got so many buttons. Okay, I think you go like this. Okay, there we go. All right, we got all of our skills. Our skills to pay the bills. Okay, hearth to thunder bluff. We can do that. All right, abandon the weaver. I don't want to abandon it. I want to do it at some point. <laughs> But I guess I should abandon it. Oh, I'm just gonna click it for now. All right, turn in, return to Thunder Bluff, accept the flying, okay. Most of us have a lot of keys to press. My advice start with a class that has less keys to hit and grow from there, true. Now I'm playing Warlock, which is very complicated class. Um, lots of utility and like it builds up, you know, that's part of why Vanilla WoW is very good because you level up slowly. So you end up learning your skills um, without the game having to teach you too much because you're just slowly gaining them. Um, so yeah. Oh my God, what is happening? I'm trying to open something up over here for you guys. It's not working. There we go. Okay. All right, you guys. So if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know what you think of my new beautiful mirrorless camera. Um, and uh, yeah, of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.